Okay, practice problem number four. Y equals negative X plus eight. Okay, let's plot this from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have a Y intercept of eight right up there and a slope of negative one. So this is just gonna go through these little grid intersections on your graph. And it'll have a X intercept of eight down there also. So let's draw that line in. Okay, and then the next line, y equals 3 fifths x minus 8. So we have a y-intercept down here of negative 8 and a slope of 3 fifths. So we need to go up 3 and over 5. That's a slope of 3 fifths. Let's do that again. Up 3 over 5. Okay, and then draw that line in. And it looks like our solution is right here. And that looks like the point 10, negative 2. So let's check that. We'll put those x and y values into each equation. Okay, this one first. Put in negative 2 for y equals negative x, that's negative 10, plus 8. And is that true? Negative 2 is negative 10 plus 8, so that's good. And then try the other equation. Put in negative 2 for y equals 3 fifths times 10 minus 8. And let's see if that's true. So let's work this out. Uh, the 10 here and the 5 are going to reduce to a 2. So that's 3 times 2 right there. So that's 6 minus 8. And that's correct. Negative 2 is, in fact, 6 minus 8. So we've got it. 10 comma negative 2 is the solution. And one more. 6x plus 2y equals 6. Okay, this one is in standard form here. Uh, in this form, it will be pretty easy to graph by finding the intercepts. So we do this by first imagining the x to be 0. Okay, and if x is 0, then we're left with 2y equals 6. Okay, so when x is 0, and look at that, 2y equals 6, it's pretty easy to see from that that y has to be 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. That gives us a point. x is 0, y is 3. That's this point right up here. Okay, now let's find the other intercept. Imagine y equaling 0. Okay, and that means that this is going to be gone. And we're left with 6x equals 6. So it's pretty easy to see that if y is 0, x has to be 1. So that gives me another point on my graph right there. And you can see the line. And there's a, a well-established pattern right here. A slope of negative 3. Down 3 over 1. Down 3 over 1. So we can easily get some other points on our axes and again I like to draw those in because that helps me sketch in the line neatly okay that's the first one now let's graph the second one here y equals negative 3x plus 3 okay this is in a slope intercept form so that's easy has a y intercept of positive 3 that's right there and look, a slope of negative 3, that's, that's this line exactly. So these two equations are actually the same line. So there are infinity solutions here, an infinite number of solutions. And the reason there are an infinite number of solutions is that those two equations are, in fact, the same line. In fact, what this means is that with a little bit of effort, you could take one of these equations and algebraically rearrange it to show that it's equivalent to the other. Those are not just the same line. Those are, in fact, mathematically the same equation.